Stephen Tompkinson has been photographed arriving at Newcastle Crown Court today, as he stands trial over an allegation of grievous bodily harm. He was pictured wearing a dark blue suit with a shirt and tie of the same color. The DCI Banks actor clutched onto a black bag as he headed towards the court. Tompkinson is accused of inflicting grievous bodily harm on a man named Carl Poole, 48, on May 30, 2021 in an altercation with him and his friend Andrew Hall. Tompkinson denies the charge. Ahead of the trial, during a hearing in September, Tompkinson entered a not guilty plea and his barrister Adam Birkby told the court the actor will claim self-defense. The trial began last week and the court heard how Tompkinson allegedly punched Mr. Poole following an argument over noise outside the DCI Banks actor's home. Mr. Poole and his friend had gone for a dip in the sea before he made his way back to the home of Andrew Hall, Newcastle Crown Court was told. Mr. Hall said the pair had been drinking vodka and Jägermeister from around midnight until 4 a.m. on May 30, 2021 before going to see the sunrise on the beach in Whitley Bay, North Tyneside. They were making their way back past the nearby home of Mr. Tompkinson when he came out to complain about the noise and they ended up in a confrontation on the driveway at around 5. 30 a.m., the jury heard. Mr. Poole was left with traumatic brain injuries following the alleged incident, the court heard. Meanwhile, Mr. Poole told the court last week he had absolutely zero memory of that night and explained how the statement he gave to the police about the alleged incident was based on what he had been told. On Thursday, the court heard how the actor was told you've killed him. He has stopped breathing after allegedly punching Mr. Poole. Tompkinson said, I went into the house afterwards to wash my hands and face and calm down a bit. I saw Carl had not moved from the same position and I could hear Andrew saying you have killed him. He is not breathing. He told officers that he had never punched anyone in his life when they told him a neighbor had seen him throwing a punch at Poole after he had slapped him. In the interview, read to the court, he said that he could not afford to punch anyone because of his job. The court also heard how the friend of a drunken man left with traumatic brain injuries allegedly from a punch by Mr. Tompkinson heard a cracking as it hit the flesh but did not see him land the blow. Mr. Hall told the court, I heard the hit of flesh and Carl rapidly hit the floor. It was the same person who was on the drive. I did not see it but I heard that sound. It was the speed, the velocity, the sound when he hit the ground so it was obvious what happened. It was a cracking, sound, as he hit the ground. He added, Mr. Poole was knocked out. He was snoring. I have done some training in the past and I know that can represent a serious head injury. I did panic, and I asked the man to call the police and ambulance, to call someone. The trial continues, 